In 2021, the Tableau server and Tableau online search experience has been massively enhanced. Previously, when you used the search function, it was actually quite difficult to find what you're looking for, but now it's super easy. Just to show you how this works, I'll head over to the top right hand side and I'll just enter um, the term Superstore. Let's just uh, start with the generic uh, workbook that everyone has. Now, if I go ahead and type that, what is really nice about this search is that there's a couple of changes to the way the results come back to you. The first one is, of course, the most obvious one, which is you get a nice filter pane here at the top. So you can filter down your search results uh, based on what exactly you're looking for. You've got the content type um, available here. You've also got the owner, so you can filter it to yourself. And you can also now search based on when it was last modified. So if you want to see only things that have been modified in the last seven days, they immediately come up just like that. Really, really nice touch, sort of really get to what you need. The other thing is that the results are broken down in terms of content type. So at the top here, you can see the views, but as I scroll down, you see workbooks, you see data sources, flows, tables, databases, and files. Now in this particular search, I haven't got any metrics. So if I go ahead and just clear the search and I just hit enter, this will actually search all content and return everything back. So now you can actually see all the different types of content and the sort of assumed hierarchy that's working here. And again, this is just really nice. This is a really nice sort of improvement now. The thing to bear in mind is that Search and Explore are slightly different tools. Search is, you know, like a search engine. You go in and type something that you're looking for, and it's very specific. Explore is designed more for browsing. So don't confuse those two. Search and Explore are two very different things. You're still going to get the most, I think, out of searching for content because then you'll find things uh, that you're looking for a little bit quickly. Now, the other thing that's really nice about the search function, if we just go ahead and search uh, my surname here, I'm going to deliberately mistype my surname and just see what happens. And um, what it does is it uses a system based on token matching. Essentially, it assigns a score or a token to every single word. And then on top of that, it also does something else called fuzzy matching. So if you mistype a name or you mistype a word, it's still generally going to try and find the closest possible match to that particular phrase. So even though I've typed in my name incorrectly, it's still savvy enough to bring back all my content. Now, it's brought down 239 results compared to 460. I am the author of everything on this server, so it's obviously using some sort of criteria to filter down to this. And I believe this is based on uh, views, so it's gonna look at which workbooks have the most views, but also try and give preference to things that have been most recently modified. So that's another really nice touch. The fuzzy matching works both for terms and names, but if you wanted to, you could just search content. For example, if I just search Tim Nguena here, you can actually just go ahead and type an author straight into the top and it will find it. On top of also being able to do something like this, which is just a, a standard sort of author filter. And you can go ahead and say, look, which of the workbooks that Tim has modified in the last seven days, you can see there's just one. And so this is a really nice way of just drilling down into different things. Now, something you might notice is if you filter down to one particular content type, it actually gives you this sorting criteria over on the right hand side. And once you're there, you can obviously sort by a particular thing in terms of, instead of searching by relevance, you can sort it by popularity just changing the weighting of the different values there. So it's a really nice touch. Um, I really like this new interface. It's a little bit faster. There's a couple of other sort of touches you really can't see here because um, I've got such a very small data set. But maybe if I do this, if I just select all content and I just go back and I just clear the search here, just bring back everything. What you'll see is as I scroll down, it actually progressively loads more content. But because here I've got such little content, you actually can't see it all. So let's go back just to workbooks. And let's see if we can see this behavior as we scroll down. You can just see that last button bit here, scroll and add. That's supposed to improve speed. So essentially it's it's called lazy loading or progressive loading, depending on um, you know which school of thought you come from. But that's again going to speed up the um, capability of the web page so that initial results load fast. And then as you scroll, as you're telling it that you're not finding what you're looking for, it's loading more and more context based on the criteria that you've set. So this is going to be one of those things where you don't really notice the change until it returns exactly what you're looking for um, straight away. Um, I hope uh, this is something that people find useful. It's one of those things that everyone gets for free. So everyone who even doesn't realize it's a new feature will get this benefit immediately. So I think this is actually probably one of the nicest uh, features in 22.1 because, um, yeah, it will just improve your quality of life, especially if you're a tablet online or tablet server. And yeah, thanks for watching. If you found this video useful, share it with someone who you might find it useful. Um, we're on a march to 50,000 subscribers. We're at 25 at the moment. Um, but unfortunately, most of the people who watch these videos aren't actually subscribed. So if you're one of those people, um, join the family, help me get to that target, and I'll catch you in the next video.